Welcome to St. Stephen Lutheran Church in Williamsburg, Virginia. We give great thanks to our young people who have put together this worship service for you for this evening. Lord God, you made this night shine with the brightness of the true light, Jesus, our Emmanuel. Give us the courage to shine the light of Jesus in all we say and do as we celebrate his birth. Amen. Joseph about giving birth to God's son. He didn't believe her, but Mary remembered what the angel had said, and she trusted God. The next day, Joseph told Mary, an angel came to me in a dream. He told me, don't be afraid. Make Mary your wife. She will have a son, and you will name him Jesus. He's going to save people from their sin. Mary smiled a big smile, and she was so happy that the tears of joy filled her eyes and trickled down her cheeks. She felt Joseph's love again. I am not scared for you to be my wife, Mary, he said. I will be with you, and we will name the boy Jesus. One day, Mary went to visit her cousin, Elizabeth. Elizabeth was going to have a baby, and Mary wanted to tell her that she was going to have a baby, too. Hello, Elizabeth, Mary called. The sound of Mary's voice made the baby inside Elizabeth wiggle with joy. Without even asking, Elizabeth knew the secret Mary wanted to tell her. Elizabeth hugged Mary, war Mary warmly and said, Mary, God has blessed you more than any other woman, and God has blessed the baby you will have. Mary was full of joy. From now on, all the people will know that God has blessed me and that God's name is holy. God has kept the prom promises made to the people of Israel. One day, when it was nearly time for Mary to have the, have the baby, jo Joseph said, we have to go to Bethlehem. The empire has ordered all the people need to be counted. But Joseph, Mary said, what about our baby? He will be born soon. We'll go slowly, Mary. Bethlehem will be crowded, so we need to leave now. So. So Mary and Joseph journeyed to Bethlehem to be counted with all of the other people. It was cold when they arrived. 
Joseph knocked on many doors looking for a room, but everyone said no. Finally, an innkeeper answered his door. I have no room, the innkeeper said, but you can stay in the little stable in the back. It is warm and the hay is fresh. Joseph, Mary said, I think it's time for the baby to be born. That night, Mary gave birth to Jesus. She laid him in a manger. Outside of Bethlehem, shepherds watched their sheep on the hill. Suddenly, an angel appeared. Don't be afraid, the angel said. I bring wonderful news. The child God promised was born tonight. Go to Bethlehem. You will find a child laying on a bed of hay. The shepherds were amazed. Suddenly, many angels filled the heavens. They sang glory to God in the highest and peace to all people on earth. Let's hurry, one shepherd said. The shepherds found the baby Jesus asleep on a bed of hay. The shepherds told Mary and Joseph, The angel said the baby is the Messiah, the promised one. He is the one we have wi waited for. But this is a stable. Would this special child be born here among the animals? Mary smiled. She knew that Jesus was Emmanuel, God with us. Later, the shepherds returned to their sheep, praising God for all they had seen and heard. Christmas is almost here. I don't know about you guys, but I'm very excited about Christmas. Past couple weeks, I've been listening to a lot of Christmas music. I've been decorating my house. I've been decorating my Christmas tree. I've been baking lots of cookies. And on Christmas Day, I'm excited to spend time with my family, eat lots of food, especially those cookies, and have a nice break from school. In the story of the birth of Jesus, Joseph and Mary went to Bethlehem because there was a census going on. The census required everyone head back to the town where their family was from. Whenever they were looking for a place to stay, they went to the inn, but there was no room at the inn. So they had to stay at the stable, and this is where Jesus was born in the manger. Now, for the Christmas story, we do focus a lot on Jesus' birth and him being in a manger. But outside of that, there was no Christmas. There was no big holidays. Everyone else was doing regular day-to-day -day stuff. The inn workers still had to work. Shepherds still needed to herd sheep. People were cooking food like they did every other day. And they all went about their life without knowing that Jesus was born. Here, God was in the presence of their day-to-day -day lives. Now, during Christmas, we do celebrate the birth of Jesus and God's presence in the manger, but we also need to remember that God is with us in our day-to-day -day lives, even when we don't remember he is there. Let us pray. Dear God, in this time of Christmas, let us remember that you are always here with us, not only in the manger at Christmas, but also in our day-to-day -day lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the beginning, the world was in darkness, but there was a great light, the light of the world.
Say good news. Good news, the light is Jesus. And he is the light of the world. The light shines in the darkness and it will not be dimmed. Good news, Jesus. On this special night, may the light of God shine on you. Thank you.